Introduction to the Resistance Welder Resistance welding is used for joining two metals. It consists of a welding head, which holds the metal between its electrodes and applies pressure, and a welding power supply, which applies electric current to the metal to be welded. What is resistance welding? How can two metals be joined together? Resistance generates friction heat when force is applied. Resistance welding utilizes this heat. Similarly, when electric current tries to move forward through two metals, heat is generated due to the resistance of the metal itself and the friction at the contact point. Resistance welding welds a metal to another metal utilizing this heat and pressure. Two metals to be welded are placed on top of each other and pressure is applied. In this state, electric current is applied. The contact point of two metals, in particular, generates more heat because of significant resistance. This heat melts the two metals, which then bond together. This method of joining two metals utilizing resistance heat is called resistance welding. What does a welding head do? A welding head is intended to hold two metals to be welded between its electrodes and to pressurize. The section holding the two metals is called the welding electrodes. There are various shapes and material for electrode, and the most suitable one for the object to be welded must be selected. Pressure is applied. The welding head is structured in a way to change the pressure level, and the pressure must be adjusted to a level most suitable to the object to be welded. What does a welding power supply do? Welding power supply is intended to apply electric current through the two metals to be welded together. This current is called the welding current, and its level and the duration are variable. There are four methods to apply welding current. A method most suitable to the object to be welded must be selected. Following is the feature of each method. First is the feature of AC type welding power supply. This is the most popular type. Because of its simple structure, it is easy to handle and durable. Because the welding duration can be extended, the Avio product can be used for many applications, especially objects easily welded such as iron. Next is the feature of DC type welding power supply. This is a method whereby electricity is charged into the capacitor and discharged at once. Because a large current can be applied instantaneously, it is used for heat dissipation. Aluminum and copper are difficult to weld, but can be used in this process. Furthermore, because the energy is once charged into a capacitor, electric facility of the manufacturing plant can be small. The feature of inverter type welding power supply. This is a method whereby AC current is rectified and converted to DC current. Because of high frequency, heat efficiency is good. Furthermore, as the current and the voltage are feedback controlled, stable welding quality can be expected. It is suitable for precision welding. And because repetitive welding at short intervals can be made, and the welding transformer is small-sized and light-weighted, it is suitable for incorporation into automated machines.
feature of transistor type welding power supply. It is a method whereby a power transistor is used to directly control the welding current. As in the case of inverter power supply, the current and the voltage can be feedback controlled and the waveform can be controlled as well. Therefore, the heat efficiency is the best among four methods resulting in the stable welding quality and it is most suitable for superior precision welding such as the welding of extra fine wire. Introducing monitoring and control equipment. As described, the welding head applies pressure and the welding power supply applies electric current. Avio has additional products such as a force gauge to measure the welding head pressure, a current monitor to measure the welding current. Furthermore, we offer a displacement gauge which measures the displacement amount at the time of welding. This completes the introduction to resistance welding.